Hi guys, so we're back for our seventh episode on Life is Strange Before the Storm. After our wonderful performance in the Tempest play, we finally got to kiss Rachel. It truly was the start of a magical night. But then we got stuck into a very awkward dinner with Rachel's parents. One thing leading to another, we revealed that her dad was cheating his wife. And that's when he dropped the bomb that Sarah, the girl he was kissing, is actually Rachel's mom. And she's a drug addict. I'm sure she loved her too, but she's dangerous. Are we gonna meet her or should we not? So we are back in Rachel's room, filled with stars. Time to move on. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? It's not wrong, but I don't want Rachel to get into trouble. Of course not, but it, it might be tough to track her down luckily i've got my secret weapon she's talking about me but what if we can't find her it's not like i can ask my dad i think i know what to do i'll call frank and get him to connect us to her of course even if we know where she is we need a way to get to her i have my own car sort of don't worry i've got that one covered too but even if we find her how will i talk to her what do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. True words. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there and it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. Maybe I was wrong before. Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Exactly. Right? Right. Wait. That's my room. What the shit? Man, it's such a mess. Has someone been going through my room? David? That motherfucker. I don't have time for this shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. Literally. He might know how to find her. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. Never run out of crap, do you? <laughs> What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> What am I getting myself into? A lot more trouble. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. So if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer? She should leave it somewhere. What the hell? Even though she's with David now. <laughs> Shit. That was candoms inside. <laughs> I remember this. Mom left it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Oh, it's today. Shit. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? <sighs> Score. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. We never got around to it. In the first game of Life is Strange, she has blue hair. But I didn't know it was Max's idea to make her hair blue so that she looks like a pirate. Ready for the best shower of my life. Time for some blue hair. She's becoming the Chloe, we know. She's changing. What a good. <laughs> Boots. Maybe something from my dad. What do I feel like wearing on this easy ass day? This is the last chapter of Before the Storm. So we should choose carefully. Okay, so we could wear this. That would look like Rachel. Alright. 
Mm, but I prefer this. One last thing. The dragon. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. So that we have our own style. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. It's actually cute to see them I'd settle for giggle like that. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. I'm happy to see her happy. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe! <laughs> oh, I am so glad to see you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I uh, uh, have to go. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <laughs> Chloe, say I something nice, please. An agreement with your mother to trust you from today forward. <laughs> I'm going to Thanks, Mom. take you at your word. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. What is it? Maybe now's a good time. Picture. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed oh. near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into. Once we got back home, but he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. I know finally what going through. I'm here. That's sincere. Whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Here, why don't you oh. keep this photo for a little while? Wow, that's a sign of respect. Think about. What I've said. This picture must mean a lot for him. <laughs> like I could reject. I'm sure you're gonna accept it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. It warms my heart. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. <laughs> Mom. Stop embarrassing me, Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm glad to see. Just gotta family. grab dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. The junkyard. Might be the last time I come here. Aww. Oh. You can do it, Chloe. Come on. Fix the truck. I trust you. Ow. Damn it. I hope everything will go fine with Frank and Sarah and Rachel coming to the junkyard. But I'm not so sure. Okay, let's just fix that for now. Maybe. <laughs> Sick. That should do it. <laughs> I need you. Is it working? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Shit. <laughs> Man, be careful. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. It's finally working. But now don't break it. I'm sure Rachel will show up. Well done, Chloe. Hey. I'm becoming myself. Junkyard queen. <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> Holy shit. Your hair. It's so badass. <laughs> Ooh. I was going to say hot. That shirt looks awesome, too. <laughs> I'm mad. You like anything that starts fire. Hey, Price. Frank. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. No, dang it! Frank here's wow. becoming a man, aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you, she's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. How'd you like to work full time? For us. Don't fucking touch her. Thanks, Rachel, but then he'll be angry at you. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. We're just talking here. I want to know why you give a shit about this woman. 
She's a friend. <laughs> An old family friend. This chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? Wait, she was gonna say something. No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. This She's guy is going crazy. To fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Don't need to get crazy. Uh, ah! <laughs> Shit, Rachel, no. <laughs> Come on, take the knife, <laughs> Chloe. No! What the hell? What the fuck? Chloe! Go! Now! I knew it would end up badly. Shit! 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 Man! I couldn't do anything to prevent that. What the hell, man? I wasn't expecting it to go so badly. Why did Rachel hit him? This guy is just crazy. That demon. I hope she'll be alright. Man, she's so white. She has a lot of blood, I guess. And it's all my fault. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery. And now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. I even saw your file saying Sarah was connected to Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I got my dealer to meet us. Since he knows Sarah, but Damon showed up with him. Is that how it became violent? It was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. Um, she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. Man, that was so fucked up. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but... You could have taken that knife. When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Wow. Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. That is so sad. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. It's our favorite wizard. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Hey, Chloe. How's the arm, Mikey? Damon's fault I again. I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff, but other than that, it's just broken. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Why? What happened? 
Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. You serious? That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? <laughs> Something terrible. Uh -huh. I am. Like... Challenge him to a karaoke battle? Yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. <laughs> Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. <laughs> Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Time to see Rachel. Hope she's all right. Dad, I'm glad that you're Oh, here. poor Me her. Too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. She looks so pale. The pain will pass. I'll come back. It's all my fault. In a little while. <laughs> my guardian angel. Oh, not so much. How are you? Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. I saw the knife. I fucked it up. Could have taken it. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. <laughs> Happy that your dad's here. I'm still <laughs> mad at him for everything he's done. But he's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. I remember that story. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. I think I still want to meet her. Knew it. I figured you would. Will you find her, please? You really want this. I do. Chloe, I really do. Then... I'll do it. Of course. But I'm gonna suffer. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code Man. is 0722. Your dad's office? I'm gonna break Zero through. 0722. My birthday. Oh. I'll find her, Rachel. I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. I'm gonna risk my life for her. But that's what love does. That's the end of our seventh episode. And we are very close to the end of the game too. Once again, everything was going great. We were at the junkyard, I faced the truck, Rachel was there, and then she got stabbed because of me. I still can't believe I'm responsible. But thank God we can bring her to the hospital just in time. That Damon Merrick will have to pay. And we'll do everything we can to find her mother, whatever it costs. In the next episode, I'll break through Rachel's dad's office. Make sure you don't miss that. See you guys.